Hey friend, Chris Vandeviver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. You know, we're right around the corner from some pretty major holidays, at least here in the US. And with the holidays comes a lot of deals and sales, right? Especially next Friday. And you might be receiving some emails that are taunting you, you know, to pull out that credit card and take advantage of those deals. And I thought it would be cool this week, the week before, to bring your attention to an application that I think is revolutionary for Logic users that I think is really going to be helpful to your workflow and something that a lot of folks have been asking of Apple when it comes to Logic for a long time. And what that application is, is the brand new, this week, brand new version of Plug Search from the developer Speaker Food. And Plug Search really eliminates all the menu diving when it comes to plugins and instruments and MIDI effects. Just to quickly demonstrate, Plug Search lives in the background. You can see right in the taskbar here that's just hanging out just in the background. And if you hover your mouse over an empty audio effects slot or an instrument slot or MIDI effects slot, all you have to do is just hover your mouse over an empty slot and then press control. And a text-based search field pops up. And then you just type in the plugin that you're thinking of. So maybe I'm thinking of the Pro Q3 from FabFilter. So I just typed in Pro, boom, there it is. And then I hit return and the application just creates an automation or goes through an automation to load that plugin. And now Pro Q3 is now loaded and ready to go. It is awesome. And version three brings about a lot of updated features that make this application just that much better. And I want to show you those new features today because again, I think this will be revolutionary to your workflow. And really, you know, if you have already thousands of plugins, why not have an application that helps you find those plugins faster and easier so you can stay in the mode of creating. When you open plug search for the first time, it's going to walk you through the necessary steps to get it set up with your Mac and also Logic Pro. And if we go to the application, go down to setup, let's just walk through it right now. So the first step is that you have to grant accessibility to plug search to access your Mac. And this is via the security and privacy settings in the system preferences. So if we look up security and privacy, and if we just dig in right here, we can see accessibility, we can see plug search, and you may have to unlock your system preferences to allow it. Now, obviously I've allowed it, so we'll just lock this back up. After that, you then create a category in the plugin manager in Logic of just the Logic plugins, and we're gonna call that category plug search. So let's do that right now. We go to Logic Pro, preferences, and the plugin manager, and let's create a category. Let's call this plug search. And then we'll go down here to Logic and let's select all of the Logic plugins and then we'll drag them into that plug search folder. Okay, that's it. Click done. And then the rest of the steps walk you through how to use it. So let's close it up now. So at this point, plug search knows how to navigate around, you know, Logic Pro when it comes to loading plugins. So again, let's hover our mouse right over an empty slot or you can do this in the mixer as well. Press control to load the text-based menu for searching for your plugins. Now, again, you can just type in the name of a plugin, but you can also type in a category. So if we just type in compressor and then we click the right arrow, we now have access to any compressor in this menu. So we can scroll through, we can select the appropriate plugin we wanna use. You can use the arrows to navigate back and forth throughout the text-based search. We can also type in by manufacturer. So if we type in FabFilter, click the right button. There we have it, all of the FabFilter plugins. So again, no menu diving. It's just a much smarter way of navigating through your plugins because you're thinking of a plugin or a manufacturer or something and you just want to load it. So boom. So let's load the Pro Q3. There it is. Beautiful. Now you can also turn off plugins. So if we hover our cursor, you don't ever click, you just hover. And if I press the command key, we bypass the Pro Q3. And I could do this for, you know, all of these. Press command again to re-enable those plugins. And one better, if you press control while hovering over an active plugin, Plug Search just immediately removes that plugin. And again, this is not just with audio effects. You can also do this for instruments and MIDI effects. So let's remove Quick Sampler. Oh yeah, let's now search for alchemy, right? And there it is, or the MIDI effects. 
So if I press control and we can just navigate through and we'll pick the arpeggiator. Beautiful. If we again press control while hovering over an empty slot, we obviously get the text based search. Now, if you press the right key on any plugin, now there's a new info pop up that tells you what plugin you're looking at, um, any custom names that you can set up, the manufacturer, and even the category. And you can even load a Google search or a YouTube search or any manufacturer website that's related to that plugin that's been added to the database of plug search, which is amazing. So you can watch on YouTube, Google, or just insert the plugin. And if we press the left arrow key, we just go back to the text-based search. You can also page through different views of plug search just by pressing the control key. And at the moment, we're taking a look at not just plugins, but a mixed view of plugins and manufacturers and categories. But if you press control while this view is open, we can take a look at just our favorite plugins or instruments or MIDI effects that you specify in the application. I'll show you that in just a moment. Press control again. And now we have just plugins without categories or manufacturers in the listings. Press control to access categories and you can use the arrow keys to page through the different categories or the different manufacturers just by pressing control again. Now, if we go to the application in the taskbar, we can go down to plugins and the plugins shows you a list of every plugin on your system obviously, but you can also specify favorites for each audio effects, instruments, and MIDI effects. So I've specified, you know, the Pro-Q3 and Soothe 2 and RC20 Retro Color as my top plugins, you know, one, two, and three, and Drum Machine Designer, Alchemy, so on and so forth. So keeping this in mind, if we close this menu, or let's just leave it open for now, and if we hover our mouse again, press control, and if I tab over, pressing control to favorites. Now, if I press one, two, or three, my top three favorite plugins will be loaded automatically. So if I press three, the retro color is automatically loaded and I'm off to the races. It's awesome. So I hope you can see how tremendous plug search can be to your workflow in Logic Pro. It just saves you so much menu diving. It keeps you in the creative mode, whether you're mixing or producing or anything else. And version three of plug search is 30 bucks from Speaker Foods website. This is not an affiliate thing. I get no kickback, I promise you. It's just, I appreciate this small developer solving such a tremendous need for Logic users. And I'll include a link to the website below. But it's 30 bucks to get all this additional features. Also, if you're an existing user of Plug Search, maybe you own version two. If you go to the support page, there is a coupon code. So you only have to pay 10 bucks to upgrade. So I don't see why you wouldn't upgrade for 10 bucks to get all of this additional workflow enhancement. It's awesome. I'm going to be using Plug Search all the time. So my seal of approval, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, as always, I highly recommend subscribing to the YouTube channel, YLogic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, YLogicProRules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, emails, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Thanks so much.